Good morning. I went for my walk. I got my coffee. I drank my coffee on the way home. I got my period. I got cramps. I'm dehydrated. I've got a doctor's appointment. The light is bright. Ah. You know when you're on your period, I don't know if you get back pain, but I always get back pain in this one spot and it's just, I would trade. Can I trade symptoms? Tastes green. Oh. I'm sitting on the floor. Hope you don't mind. I was about to say sorry, but then I'm like, what am I apologizing for? I'm gonna do my makeup and get ready to go to the doctor. Like I said, on my period, just feeling just bleh. So video we're gonna be talking about my weight gain and my weight loss I'm on a specific diet and so I have to go see my doctor and um, every few weeks and make sure that I am okay make sure that I'm not dying my current doctor is amazing and she takes me seriously which is Super cool. So today I'm gonna go get checked. Talk to her about where I'm at. I was 122 kilos. I've always been a binge eater. Um, I've always had a very emotional relationship to food. And yeah, pair that with trauma Childhood PTSD. <laughs> uh, I do not say that lightly. I dealt with it in my own way. No shame to her. Um, and I was basically eating myself to death. I did not care about my life. Um, I was struggling. People didn't really understand and so I was kind of, they didn't really understand what I was going through so I was kind of going through it on my own. I guess I felt as if my life was forfeit and at that time I guess I just, all I wanted to do was just fill myself, fill the void that I had in myself with food okay I do not say any of this lightly because there was multiple times and there's gonna be a trigger warning at the start of this video where I did not care whether I lived or died girl I did not care I'll put some photos I was dealing with very serious family issues that still are unresolved um, well, not unresolved, but just unspoken of. Had a very traumatic relationship, like lots of cheating, and um, that was like at the same time, so I kind of was with him because I couldn't go to my family. Um, and so I kind of stayed in that for a lot longer than I should have, and it really, really damaged me. During the time that I was gaining the weight, I was also spending a lot of time alone because I had lost issues um, and people had just hurt me over and over again. And I was just like, what is the point, girl? Give me a fucking cheeseburger and let's call it a day. I'm not saying any of this lightly, okay? 
I couldn't look in the mirror. I couldn't take photos of myself. And it also got to a point where body dysmorphia does this weird thing where you can't actually see it in yourself. I didn't realize how big I was. I've just spent the last year in New Zealand and before I left, I wanted to get on contraception and the doctor would not put me on because I was so overweight that my estrogen levels were too high. And that was kind of like, a, oh yeah, should should do something about this. Um, and that is where I'm going to start talking about my weight loss. I lost 50 kilos, I'm now 72 kilos. It kind of happened in three different stages. So the first stage was I, after hearing about me being too overweight to get on contraception, I actually went and signed up to gym classes. Um, I knew some people there and they kind of looked at me and they were like, girl, you have really let yourself go. It was like just that kind of thing and people didn't realize how much I was like fucking screaming for help. Thankfully the trainers there were so amazing. I lost 15 kilos in, I think I was like three months. It sounds like a lot, but that way it just kind of falls off you when you're going to these classes every day. You're walking a lot. Um, I was even running at one point. Yeah, I went from 122 down to 100 and like eight. And I thought that I was looking so good. I mean, I was like, I don't shame myself for being that weight. I think women are beautiful at any shape. But she was hurting and she was not happy. And so I am very glad that she did that for herself. And then phase two, I went, I had to get out of my situation. It was literally killing me. Um, and so I booked a flight to New Zealand. Not really, actually, I booked a flight to Sydney. I spent a few days soul searching in the Blue Mountains. <laughs> and then I went to New Zealand. First month, I didn't have that much money to spend because I wasn't working yet and I s wasn't eating that much and I had made friends already because I was staying in hostels and blah 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 so we were going out all the time not drinking but like going out every day and doing things and like they were travelers so none of us were working and it was super fun and then I made some friends and we went down to I made some more friends and they had a car we went did the North Island and then we stopped at Wellington they went to South Island I stayed in Wellington I got a job um didn't really know anyone um and now all my friends have like dispersed and I was in Wellington by myself and I spent about nine months there So I was working a lot and it was a job at a club, like kind of like a place where like really rich people go and they just kind of meet up with each other and it's kind of like an old men's club except there's women now and so it's kind of progressed and I was working there and I was constantly on my feet like every day so I was walking a lot. But I was still eating takeaway, I was drinking a lot because I had friends there and we were going out drinking. So I was losing weight. I think that I went from a hundred and, I think I was around a hundred and two, hundred and one kilos, maybe 
a little bit less. Yeah, so I was working there for six months and at the very end of it, I was down to 88 kilos. And I thought I looked so good. I thought that like, I could not lose any more weight than 80, uh, 88 kilos. I was like, whoa, I can't believe I'm 88 kilos because I was once 123 kilos. And these people, no one around me knew that person. No one around me knew how big I was or anything. I was feeling confident. I was really just like showing up as myself. I was, even though I'm quite introverted, I was very loud and just direct. And I felt so good because I was eating shit, because I was drinking and I was working a lot and I wasn't sleeping as much as I should have been. I overdid it and then I got sick and that is phase three <laughs> I've been sick for the last six months um, I had to leave that job I stayed in Wellington for the last five months. Um, I thankfully had a good place to live and the people that I was living with were really chill and really nice um, and really respecting of my situation, but I was going through it. Health is not something you fuck around with, okay? Your health is everything. And if I had known what I know today, and it, I would never, ever have allowed myself to stress out that much over a job, ate shit every fucking day, not slept, and was and drank that much alcohol, I would never let my body do that. And I never will ever again. What I've been through the last six months, and it's honestly, I think I'm like two days away from it being six months, is traumatizing. I have my body fully shut down. I've lost so much hair. I've lost 15 kilos. Um, I've learned a lot about nutrition and my digestion and what my body likes, what my body doesn't like. I'm very particular now, which I've never been ever in my life. I, I'm gluten intolerant, dairy intolerant. There's so many things that my body just now rejects. I've been dealing with just extreme pain, um, bloating, gas, constantly, um, headaches, fatigue. If I even have like a drop of gluten, my mind, I can't see straight. My body fully shut down. Okay? That is what I'm dealing with. That is how I lost the last 15 kilos because there was periods where I was fasting because I thought fasting might fix whatever was going wrong with me. I was cutting things out. I have a very low carb diet at the moment and so my body is, I'm mostly eating fruits, vegetables and protein. Um, so still some carbs from the vegetables, but man, if I knew what I was going to have to go through, I would never, ever, ever have put a single bad thing in my body ever again ever like I just would never have done it I'm not someone that has ever cared that much about what I eat like I've never cared like okay cool I'm gonna be bloated I don't care I'll eat it anyway and I I hope this for you that if you are struggling with your body and your health and what you're and you're eating a lot drinking a lot not sleeping enough please start to look into that and be proactive before your body goes down the deep end because it is so not worth it.
So yeah, I'm 72 kilos. Would I gain back the 10 kilos and have my health back? Fuck yeah. I lost weight really rapidly and it wasn't healthy. And my body was telling me it's not healthy, but I couldn't do anything because it, everything that I ate made me feel worse. So yeah, I've lost 50 kilos in the last year. Um, that's how it happened and that's how I lost it. I just felt like opening up about my weight journey. Weight has always been something for me. It's only been the last two months where I've actually properly looked into my diet and been eating very carefully and looking after myself that I feel this freedom to enjoy how I look. I also am very grateful to have gone through this as much as that sucks to say. Glad that I went through it now while I'm still, I'm only 25 and now I have like this whole appreciation for my health that I feel like will flow out into my life and I will be able to understand it for the rest of my life, if that makes sense. I think that I covered everything. This wasn't like a... Here's how I lost 50 kilos. Here's how you can lose 50 kilos. This was like an understanding of how I gained the weight and how I lost the weight. Nothing more. This is just a discussion. This is just me telling you to look after your health and sharing my own story. I flew back to Brisbane two weeks ago now. Um, I'm seeking medical help. I also have to, because of my health, go to therapy, which I am starting this month and I'm actually looking forward to it. Done. That is my story. That is everything you need to know about that. <laughs> this felt like a one big overshare. Whatever I've missed, I'll just talk about it in the next video. Anyway, alright, see ya.